roller skating to Brooklyn Bridge Pier 2, um, which was right on the water. It was absolutely lovely. It was facing the city and the Manhattan Bridge, and it was also uh, a new recreational place that we'd never been to. Girls in New York are now plugged in to their devices and their couch potatoes. And you know, the day and age when I grew up, we played outside. We went outside and we played with a can or a ball, or we roller skated or we went bike riding. And a lot of my girls, believe it or not, half knew how to bike ride, the other half don't know how to ride a bike. And in conversation, I happened to mention roller skating and none of my girls knew what roller skating was. What do you mean you don't know what roller skating? We were all a bit apprehensive about roller skating. We were using like these, I guess like supporters. trainers like, or supporters. And I like fell with that too because like I was like, I don't know, my leg was just kicking back and forth and I fell on top of that and I just kept falling. And then she was helping me one time when I fell. I was like, oh my God, I never fell. And then it was kind of funny, but I was like, all right, I gotta help her out and make sure she's okay and everything. Outside of the house. Out, off of the electronics and the Instagram and the Facebook and, and you know, off the couch. <laughs> That's what roller skating was about. But they'll remember when they're my age, in their 40s, oh, you know, I learned how to roller skate when I was in middle school and I went on a Girl Scout trip. That was my mentality and thought process that day. They'll remember me for this. But this simple thing they'll remember me for.